Previously on Talk That Talk. I can't wait for her to get one of these big old schools so she can go out here and take names. Look what happened at Gramlin uh, State as soon as Dr. Roebuck took over. Everybody, dog, you hear Gramlin. Gramlin a lot better. Hey, Julian ain't even said it. Yeah, bro, because they, they was off for some years, bro. They was off for some years. And they had a legend running a band program, but we're just going to leave that where it is. Hello? Um, to be told he was past his prime. No, we just going to leave that where it is, Quan. When she took over, look what happened to the band program. When women are given the opportunity, I say all that to say this. For all the dope-ass women band directors I know, they're usually amongst the most talented people in the room. Julian brought it up with Miss Sanders. Miss Sam- Miss Sanders was the number four bassoon player in the country. She was being recruited by major symphony orchestras, not just the Virginia Symphony, who she plays for now, and the Virginia Beach Symphony. She was being recruited for, by the names we all know. She was the number four bassoon player in the country. But Miss Sanders chose to stay at Norfolk State because of everything else that she was doing. She had a comfortable life there. Miss Sanders can be a band director at any school. I love that lady. She already know how I she, feel about um, had a chance to play for Beyonce's group too. Yep. Oh, and let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Miss Sanders was clear the, the top for that. The lady that they have now, she's she's a legit saxophone player. But they talked about her image in her audition. That's what our women get to look forward to. Oh, you don't look the role. Man, get the man. I swear, man. Like, this the type of stuff make you not want to have daughters. Because you're going to literally have to fight somebody just for your baby to be able to get an a equal opportunity again in the room with some subpar dudes. Like Julian talks about this all the time. These guys that get these band director positions that are terrible, haven't had any type of track record of having success at any level and will get the job because they, um, their degree has the right college's name on it. Hello? We didn't talk about that on this show. But you got all these dope. I can't wait for Crystal to get out here and say, all right, I'm ready to go to the to get my own band. She already teaches at the university level. She's at the University of Maryland. You can't be sorry and be teaching at the University of Maryland. I can't wait for her to say I'm ready to take over my first band, my band program. Because I guarantee you that band will be good. Because there is an expectation. It's like double the expectation that we have as black people. We already know when we step in the room, we have to be better than. I can only imagine what it's like to be a black woman. I have to be better than because I'm black, but then I have to be better on top of that because I don't want to be second guessed by all these men in the room who don't even meet my credentials with the, the, the talent in my pinky finger. And then they got to deal with passive aggressiveness sometimes from the white women who and don't want to be looked down at because they they have a whole lot. Why, why are you, LaPorsche, are you okay? Um, why are you angry? Are you why are you angry? Why are you upset? I work in corporate right. America, so yeah. <laughs> or the the lack of respect, touching their fucking hair, um, putting your hands on them and stuff like like. It's a like, law, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. a law. It's a law that's called the Crown Act now because of this shit. Like you couldn't even wear your hair a certain way at work. I mean, but it's crazy. I've seen Quan. I have seen some some males running band programs. There are the worst teachers I have ever fucking seen in my life. Julian, please pull up that uh, Boys to Men end of the road video. That guy got a goddamn uh, college gig. Like, that come video, on, bro. If anybody wants to see that video, that video is on our Instagram page. Thank you. That guy got a college gig. That guy no. is teaching people to be music educators. Stop like, lying. Come on, bro. Uh, Quan, Julian, am I lying? No, he's not. Lying. Don't you lie. When no, I, he, has, he has a university. They would rather have a man in the seat <laughs> because he's a man than to put a qualified woman there. That oh, his band was blowing, dog. You hear them horns playing extremely out of tune and out of character? Uh, let's give him a college gig to educate the future of our people in these programs. But Miss Sanders is still an associate director. Man, ooh, boy, I swear, bro. I, so, it, it's anger. It angers me, though, because there's so many dope ass people that don't get opportunities, both women and men. But mostly this for this sake of this conversation, women that do this job at an extremely high level and have to look at people in positions that shouldn't be there. 
with marketing degrees and fucking uh, other types of degrees that aren't even music degrees. But we're going to leave it there. <laughs>